Hi scholars, welcome to uh, the first day of our final week of our unit on Cleopatra, Egypt's last and greatest queen. Last week, a lot happened between Cleopatra and Mark Antony. Um, they were living it up in Egypt, they were in love, they were enjoying the finer things of life, and then Mark Antony goes back to Rome to resolve some political conflicts, and we learned that he was already married to Fulvia, and then Fulvia passed away. So we thought, okay, Mark Antony's single. He'll marry Cleopatra. But he doesn't. He marries Octavia. And he married Octavia out of a political um, agreement. He knew that if he married Octavia, Octavian's brother, that his alliance with Octavian would be solid. It says that Octavian was, Octavia was pretty smart and had a quiet sense of self-respect. The Romans loved her. It says she was nothing like the scheming, happy Fulvia or the power-hungry foreign temptress, Cleopatra. Today you're going to read chapter 10. It's called Reunion and Renewal. And you're going to read about what life was like for uh, Mark Antony and his wife Octavia in Rome. As you're reading today, I want you to annotate for what happens as well as what decisions Mark Antony makes, and that will help you with your um, questions after you're done reading. All right, good luck.